Oh, look at this. This is really beautiful here. These, I love these guys. These, of course, are pastel genetic stripe. Now, of course, the pastel is that co-dominant, and then the genetic stripe is that striping down its back. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. How's mine, you ask? Well, it's pretty fantastic. I have a box here that I'm excited to open up. But before we get started, a couple things. Uh, of course, the new merch. Of course, this is Bella and it's bananas. This is only available for the next less than two weeks. We have a few different colors. You can get t-shirts, you can get long sleeves, and you can get hoodies. Please, the link will be down in the description. Get your merch because I think it's pretty, I mean, how cute is that? That is awesome. I also wanted to update you because of course yesterday I went and I visited that collection where the gentleman had passed away. I wanted to let you know that we did work a deal out. Later today I'm actually going to go pick up the animals and I'm going to bring them back here and quarantine them and set them up. So I just wanted to let you know that we did what we could do to make sure the animals were going to be cared for. So I'm happy about that. I just thought you might want to know. Once they're here and settled in I'll give you a little bit more of an overview of what I got. Some really incredible animals and the story is obviously a little sad. Point was we wanted to make sure that the animals were cared for. Regardless, let's go ahead and just jump right into unboxing these snakes. What do you say? Ooh, these are pretty snakes. And again, it's really interesting how different people pack things differently. This one is packed just like this, so that they're not in bags. Now, Lori actually ordered these snakes, so much like uh, the last couple shipments, I really didn't even know what we were getting. Uh, so I'm just gonna look through and see what kind of snakes she bought. Looks like she did a pretty good job. And to start off, we have this little monkey here, which is just a really nice ivory ball python. I mean, these are really chunky. I mean, just taking a look at these, these all look like they're really good. And that's a little female ivory. It's really beautiful. Of course, that's a super yellow belly. Looks like we have a handful of yellow bellies, which is like, oh, wait a second. That is freaking pretty. Oh, doggy. Look at that animal there. Holy cow. This, of course, is a pastel puma ball python, but this is a beautiful snake right here. And the pastel puma, of course, is a spark and a yellow belly, much like that complex with super stripes and stuff like that. But you put the pastel in it, that is crazy. And I've seen pastel pastel pumas before, but this one right here, that's a gorgeous one. Then we got stuff like, you know, some enchi, some pastels, which are all really like really cool low end morph things because, you know, we sell a lot of that type of stuff for people that really want to get into ball pythons, but they want something that's a little bit cooler, but they don't want to spend the big bucks. So uh, that's cool that we got some because we're always really low on that kind of entry level pet trade stuff. So that is awesome. And this animal here is much prettier than I expected. Oh my gosh. This is actually a mystic spider ball python. Man, that thing is gorgeous. And basically what you have here is the mystic gene has got that super mystics, which are really beautiful that can produce the potions and all that type of stuff. And then of course the spider, but I didn't expect it to be this pretty. That is one pretty snake. Just look at that. That thing is so awesome. I mean, look at how it's got that kind of faded blushing ghosty look. That thing is so much cooler. You know, mystics and Mojaves are pretty similar. So I figured this nano would look more like a Mojave spider. And this is so much prettier. That thing is awesome. Here's another really pretty animal here. And these guys are another animal that have really become affordable as a pet. And of course, that's a super pastel. I mean, look at how that blushing and yellow comes in. And just that really super clean look to them. I mean, that's a beautiful snake. And this particular one, that really heavily blushing, that's a pretty snake right there. So Lori buys a lot of stuff that's similar to that because she wants to have that entry level pet trade stuff and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at this. This is really beautiful here. These, I love these guys. These, of course, are pastel genetic stripe. Now, of course, the pastel is that co-dominant, and then the genetic stripe is that striping down its back, which is a recessive mutation. You know, these guys resemble the super stripe a little bit, but genetically, they're completely different. The super stripe is a lelic between yellow belly and specter, whereas these are a recessive mutation on their own, which makes them pretty cool, but that's a really pretty snake. Look at this chunk monkey monkey right here. That's another ivory ball python and you can always tell the difference between the ivories and the black eyes or blue eyed leucistics by the fact that they have that pattern on their head that is pretty unique. Now super mojaves have a pattern on their head too but it doesn't 
look anything like this. If you know the genetics behind things, it's pretty easy to tell. Not to mention the Super Mojaves will have bluish eyes, where these still have the blackish eyes but have a little bit of red pupil to them. That's a pretty snake. The ivors are so gorgeous and they're the cheapest of the white snakes, which makes them really popular. And here's another really pretty snake here. This is a pastel lesser. Again, just a two gene animal. Both are co-dominant, but when you mix them together, they just look really beautiful. I remember some of the verse pastel lessers out there and they were super sought after. Uh, now they're really just a great, beautiful pet snake. I mean, that thing is gorgeous. Oh, and take a look at these guys. I get so excited about these ones. These are so pretty and Kelsey is gonna freak out because she loves these animals right here. And that, of course, is a VPI Azanthic Ball Python. Now, this is a recessive mutation that basically reduces the yellow pigment in them. Now, you know, even though that they're azanthic, which means lack of xanthophor, which is the yellow pigment, the truth is, is as time goes on, they brown out a little bit. So even the animals that are azanthic will get a little bit of yellow as they get older. But as babies, you can see these guys are just nice silver and black, almost like a newspaper print of a ball python. I absolutely love these guys to death. So there's a bunch of other stuff in here, but basically that's the overview I wanted to give you guys pretty quick. Uh, it's an awesome shipment of snakes. I can't wait to get these guys set up and it looks like they are just chunky monkeys. My buddy that I got these from has definitely been taking really good care of them. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of surprised at how big and fat they are. They look fantastic, so I don't think they're going to have a problem feeding, that's for sure. We'll get these guys set up. We'll hydrate them for a little bit. We'll offer them food in two or three days and see how it goes, but these guys are absolutely gorgeous. Once again, Lori did a great job of ordering snakes. All right, so like I had mentioned, we kind of wanted to get our minds off things and have a little fun, and so I don't know why, but we have a riot shield and we have a hoverboard, and we have Noah, and then we have these guys, and us are gonna throw water balloons at them. Uh, why? I'm not 100% sure, because it sounds like a great thing to do. So, uh, what possibly could go wrong? So, Noah, you ready? Let's go. Okay, hang on one second, guys. What'd you think, though? Is that good? I mean, you did good. I mean, there was no dodging. I know. You couldn't he was... dodge. <laughs> <laughs> he was just getting I mean, smoked every yeah, single time. It was fun. <laughs> oh my god! Good job, guys. Woo! Good job. Be more out here, killing it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody missed. That was good. <laughs> All right, guys, so don't try this at home. It's not the smartest thing, but it did cheer me up a lot. All right, so I am just back from picking up the collection of snakes that I saw yesterday. Again, it's really tough for me because I just feel kind of bad that these were someone's babies that were they were so excited about, and I'm hoping that at least some of these will be able to breed and raise up and do some amazing things with and make that person proud. But look at this animal right here. This is actually a fire spot nose clown ball python. That thing is absolutely stunning. And again, I just couldn't in good conscience leave the collection and not know what was going on. These animals were so incredible. And I knew that there was no one there that really knew anything about reptiles. And they were doing the best they could, but I just had to take them. I just couldn't not get them. So this guy is absolutely gorgeous. And then take a look at this one. This is another one of my favorites of this collection. I mean, there's so many. Every one of them was so incredible. But this, of course, is what they call a dreamsicle or a lavender pie. Now the lavender is a type of albino, but you can kind of see the purple starting to come in. So as lavenders get bigger, they turn purple where that white is. And then of course the pied is the white blotching and so on like that. So this is an amazing animal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this entire collection set up, let them settle in for a little bit, put them in kind of a quarantine area, make sure we treat them for mites. They all look completely fine, but you know, I always preventatively treat, get them hydrated and then hopefully feed them in a couple days and hopefully these guys will be off to the races again it's kind of a sad story but I'm glad that it actually is ending up where at least we're gonna be able to take care of the animals decide what we're gonna keep see if we want to rehome some of them I'm not hundred percent sure yet but regardless some amazing snakes aren't they all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and 
end the vlog here. One thing I want to always be transparent with you guys is the fact that you might start to see the vlog get a little bit shorter, usually around maybe 11 or 12 minutes instead of 15 to 17 minutes. The reason for that is, is that there's kind of an algorithmic thing with YouTube. In my watch time duration does affect the algorithm and it seems like we're at about five to six minutes. So what happens is that when you have a 15 or 16 minute vlog and you're only getting five to six minutes, the audience retention is lower and then it affects my vlog. Whereas if it's at 11 or 12 minutes and I get five to six minutes, it's much higher if you understand. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. If you don't mind that I reduce it a little bit, maybe it's just for a short period of time to see how it works out. Or let me know if you think it's just a bad idea and I should continue on with 15 minutes regardless. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? You know the routine. Please smash that like button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.